But when did the one and only Bing Crosby meet the one and only Louis Armstrong? I saw Louis working, I think, around Chicago in 1927, uh, 28. Uh, and then I saw him, of course, in New York at the Cotton Club around, got to know him, and then saw him when he came to Los Angeles to work for Frank Sebastian out of that Cotton Club, and got to know him. I've known him a long time and worked with him uh, on radio, on records, on television a few times, in pictures. I was in two pictures with Louis. That sounded now, like Now, that it. was Louis. Uh, he's limbering up the chops. Right. <laughs> uh, so I've known him a long time. I guess 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 40 years, I guess. Well, I think he's in great form, so we'll welcome him to join us now. I think he's got sleepy time down south for us first. We both of us together. Well, I'd love to hear that again. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> I know, yes, when it's sleepy time down south, yes, the soft wind blowing through the fine wood trees, the folks down there live a life of ease, when old mammy falls on the knees. When it's sleepy time down, down, yes. Steamboats up the river coming and going. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 Yes. They wrote Southland with this dreamy song. You take me back where I belong. Right in my mammy's arm. But that, but this, but this. You remember, uh, we made quite a few movies to you, know, really. Yeah. But it's one that I'll never forget, Ben. Which one? Penny from Heaven. Oh, yeah, Penny from Heaven. Thank you. 
And the skeleton in the closet rattles his bone. The closet, but there's one scene in there, and uh, I bet you forgot it. What was it? It was a knockout. You remember when somebody in your family died and left you this old haunted house? Yeah. And uh, you wanted to open up a nightclub or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, which you did. Mm -hmm. But everybody that worked for you, you gave them 10% of the business. Because, yeah. uh, you know, your little short pants mm -hmm. there in the pocket. So, short city, Indiana. <laughs> anyway, he gave everybody 10%. And he had my band, which was seven men. And he hired me. His name was Mr. Poole in the picture. Yeah. I remember it well. Yeah. And my name was Henry. So he says, Henry, I give everybody 10% of the business, and uh, I want to give you and your band 10% the same. I said, well, Papa Bing, I'll call you. Yeah. I said, well, uh, you better let me talk it over with my boys. So I went home the next night, and because uh, I told him, I said, we only have seven men, so I see how they feel about that 10%, you know, gappings, you know? So we talked it over, and. Uh, I said, uh, Mr. Bing, uh, we talked it over, but uh, it's kind of rough for us having seven men and you're giving us 10 percent, and we don't know how to figure that out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you just give us 7 percent. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> so the Papa Bing said, uh, well, it's a deal, see? I said, I told those boys that you would do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> I never did that before. That's, that's yeah, marvelous. That, that, I story, never did that story. Good, though, yeah. I well, broke it up. That's true. How <laughs> many, that, I had to get them chickens for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many different things we've done together? Because there was high society. Uh, uh, pennies from heaven. Yeah, and then there was some, on the river. There were some other pictures, too, you know, where he was a policeman and yeah. everything. We was together a lot of Dr. Time. Rhythm. Dr. Rhythm. There was a fantastic uh, craft yeah. musical, too, wasn't there? Yeah, well, we was with Paul we did, Bailey, too. We did a lot of radio together, yeah. yeah. We had radio. some nice hustles together. And there. TV, we got a show coming out soon with Pearl Bailey. With Pearl Bailey. Her first show. Boy, oh, he and Pearl, they're doing a number, man. She's a I don't mighty see woman, that one. Oh, I don't see anything about through the number because. To me, I'd have to have a mouthful of hot rice to sing all them words here in Puerto Rico. There's another recollection I want to uh, bring back to you, Ben. And if we can get a key from the boys, we lay a course on them. But uh, when you was the, with the Craft Music Hour, yeah. that was for radio at this time. That's right. Now, for your guests that night, you had Dinah Shaw, Jack Teagarden, and myself. That's right. And that's the night. We sang some songs, we didn't did. we? Well, this is how we did. Mm -hmm. Blueberry Hill, you remember? Oh, yeah. beautiful old song. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get a key, let's do it. Uh, Try it. Yeah, you get your key. No. Pull everything down. You give me, a, give me a, the list starting note. The key. Yeah, no, you start off. I found my... Oh, that's no, too no, high. No, Way too high. I, I found my thrill. I may pop something, but I'll try it. <laughs> well, if you get the, the three... Uh, Three years then, I got you going. Don't run away with it now, boys. I found my thrill. Come climb the hill with me, bing. On Blueberry Hill. We'll see what we will see. On Blueberry Hill. I bring my home with me. Where I found I'll be with you. Where the berries are blue. Yeah. The moon stood still. Each at the noon we'll go. Yes. On Blueberry Hill. Higher than the moon will go. On Blueberry Hill. To our wedding in June we we'll go. And I don't know the next line. Bye bye. The willows, blue sweet melodies. Anyway, give me a kill. And all of those vows we made would never to be.
about that. I don't want to hear your daddy give me one more. <laughs> Welcome back. That duet was unforgettable. Yeah. Be better if I knew the words, wouldn't it? <laughs> It's a real, real ad lib happening. As indeed it's all been. Bing, I know you're you're late for your party that you've got a host. And I know for the salmon, yeah. I it's spent a great pleasure, David, working with you. You're uh, well, Louis my all-time hero, but my current heroes are David Frost, Bill Buckley, Sir Kenneth Clark, and George Blanda. <laughs> well, that's that's honourable company. My yeah. current hero, you, you are not. He's, isn't he a ter pro, man. Isn't he terrific? Way back, uh, always been he's, top man. I've always known he was just the greatest singer imaginable, but he's the greatest talker imaginable, yeah. too, isn't he? Yeah, a lot of people 